So in this video, what we're gonna do is enter different sea levels and check what the world looks like at that certain sea level. So let's not waste any more of your time and let's get into the video. So first we started off with minus 10,000. So apparently there's land everywhere except in this tiny place here. Somewhere here. Here. I think this is like the Mariana Trench. Challenge it deep, the deepest point on earth. Rise another 500 and looks like this. Not much changes. Add another 500. Okay. We'll keep increasing by 500 until I feel like stopping. Is there anyone el anywhere else? Okay. Some D points here near Philippines and some D points here. And below Russia. Anywhere else? Oh, there's some D points here as well. Not much of a difference. Oh, like 0.5% of Earth's surface is not usable. Like it's water if this was a sea level change from today. 7,000. Now we started to see a lot more areas. Apparently the deepest places are in the Pacific. Maybe the Atlantic as well. Oh, now we started to see a line. This looks like the Pacific Ring of Fire. Maybe there's volcanoes underwater. Oh, now we started to see like patches of water everywhere. Oh, it's starting to spread now. Told you the deepest areas in the Pacific. Not much in Indian, some here though. Not much in like Arctic and Southern, but there's some bits in the Atlantic. Okay, start to see a lot more significant. Yeah, making a big difference. At around like what, a thousand, it'll probably start touching some land or near land, very close to it like. Okay, apparently the Arctic Ocean isn't that deep. Okay, I have something interesting to share. It's probably a secret 8 continent here. See all this area that's like 2000 meters deep. That's probably a continent called Zealandia and they say New Zealand is on top of a mountain underneath. So, it's a nice fact. Oh, it's not deep at all around here and here and stuff. Okay, a thousand. Not much depth here, here. The seas within Europe and Asia, near America, Canada and Arctic. And near Antarctica as well. It's still 800 now. Nope. Not much difference. Okay, Arctic is way more shallow than I thought. Oh, started to see some water in the seas here. Yeah, fun fact. I remember there's a town somewhere here that's 400 meters below sea level. I'd say it's one of these like. Yeah, because the Dead Sea is 400 meters below sea level. That doesn't sound like it makes a whole lot of sense, but... It's true. And apparently this sea is very shallow. And the Arctic man. Let's do 300. Um. 
yeah, the bits around the Dead Sea are the shallowest, well, deepest point on Earth on Earth's surface, like the lowest elevation. Um, yeah, it's still so shallow, bro. The Arctic, it's try hundred. Oof. What? How is it not? Let's make it 30. And now it's getting... Okay, so... Azerbaijan's capital is starting to get a bit flooded. 20. Oh, some of Denmark's flooded, I think. And yeah, water started coming to Azerbaijan a lot now. In the Dead Sea area. Oh, some of Seattle is... Try minus five. Now some of Netherlands are below sea level, which isn't a very good thing, but some of Belgium is like that too. Let's go to zero. Um Yeah, so much of Netherlands is flooded at zero. They probably did some technology thing to make sure Netherlands doesn't get flooded. Let's now make it more interesting. A lot of countries are at risk of going away, like dying out because of climate change. Yeah, see, Maldives, almost all of Maldives is gone due to sea level rise by just 10. And some countries in the middle of the Pacific, like Kiribati, Micronesia, Vanuatu. Yeah, see? And let's see some cities now. Oh, most of Netherlands is screwed if that happens. Even London is screwed and even Dublin is screwed. And let's check America. Oh, New York's kind of screwed. Philadelphia. So much of the East Coast. Oh, and most of Miami. No, Florida is screwed. Um, some of California. Um, some parts of Asia, in particular Bangladesh. And what else? Mm. Oh, this bit is very close to sea level. So if flooding happens, then they're screwed. Let's change it to 20. Okay, not much difference. Oh, some of Ireland and UK and other parts of Europe are started to flood. Border and Marseille in France are getting flooded. Let's check Africa. Oh, the Africa South Coast is screwed. Or well, Nigeria, Africa West Coast, or oh, Qatar, Dubai. This part of Italy, or oh, Switzerland's so safe, even if it rises up a few hundred. Same with like Nepal and Bhutan. Uh, not much places in South America are like that, but Buenos Aires are. Let's check the US. Um, sadly, some of Mexico and a lot of areas here are in huge danger. Port au Prince in Haiti and most of Florida. Some of Texas too. Let's check like East Asia. I didn't check much. Oh, a lot of China is screwed. Philippines are. Uh, Oh, Philippines capital is kind of screwed. Singapore? Oh yeah, Singapore is screwed. Let's not wait too much time and jump to 50. Oh, Netherlands is completely gone. Well, not completely, mostly, if it hits 50. Most of London's gone. Most of Dublin's gone. Some other cities in Ireland are gone. Same with like UK and France and all that. What about the US? Oh, the East Coast is screwed, but the West Coast isn't as bad. Uh, some of Los Angeles is screwed. 
some of Brazil, like near the Amazon. Not much of Australia actually. Maybe some stuff very close to the coast where most people live. What about New Zealand? Hmm, Auckland isn't too bad in some areas. What about old oh, Jakarta screwed? If it rises 50? Oh, Senegal is screwed. Hmm. Spain and Portugal aren't that screwed. Or well, a bit of it is. Top of Poland, side of Lithuania. Oh, most of Denmark is gone. Oh, all, most of Bangladesh is gone as well. India, coast, some of it is badly affected. Like Mumbai and all them. What about Sri Lanka? The coast are affected as well. 100. Ireland, UK, Netherlands, Germany, some other countries, they're kind of screwed. Oh, oh what about Iceland? I barely checked Iceland. Yeah, I'd say Reykjavik screwed at like 50. Oh, Canada isn't that bad. Or maybe some parts in Quebec, the French speaking province. Yeah, Boston, New York, Philadelphia, Washington. They're all gone. Oh, all of Florida's gone. New Orleans is two meters below sea level, I think, so it would be screwed if it went up by just a few meters. Houston's screwed. Yeah, Rome is gone. Now let's check 200. Oh, what about Netherlands? Oh, Netherlands is completely gone. Maybe except for like the highest mountains. Most of Europe is screwed. Not the central area though. A lot of USA is screwed. A lot of Brazil. A lot of Africa isn't screwed. Some countries aren't screwed at all like Zambia and... Botswana. Oh, India is starting to get law flooding. Same with Sri Lanka and Pakistan. And China and a lot of other countries. What about Japan? Oh, the Tokyo area. The other cities are screwed. Seoul. Yeah, most of South Korea is screwed. Same with North Korea. Any bit of Switzerland? Geez, none of Switzerland is screwed. Okay, 500. Pretty much all of Ireland is gone, most of UK, all of Netherlands, most of Belgium, a lot of Italy, but few parts of Switzerland have gone near Geneva and Zurich. Oh, the US mountain area is so safe, probably for another thousand meters or two. Oh, the bomb part of Switzerland is still fine. Okay, Switzerland started to go away. But some of Italy is still there. Uh, mountain area. Oh, Salt Lake City is flooded. Denver isn't. Um, Albuquerque, however you pronounce that. Mexico City is fine still. Um, some of Peru and Bolivia are still fine. And some of Chile, obviously. 2000. Oh, it's a tiny bit of Europe left. Tiny bit of Africa left. No way! The Ethiopian capital Addis Ababa is still there. Let's check the US. Yeah, Denver's flooded now. Let's check Afghanistan. A lot of Afghanistan's fine. Yeah, unfortunately the US is screwed now. So South America is still fine. Most of Africa is gone. Tiny bit of Switzerland still there. I was in near this area when I was in Switzerland earlier this month. Jeez, China's... The rest of the world is nothing in height compared to the Chinese area of Tibet, like. 
Yeah, all of the US is now gone. Maybe except for like the mountains. Yeah, I see some mountains. Some of this bit's fine. Oh, some of La Paz, the capital, is still fine. Let's see where else is. Yeah, everywhere in Europe is gone. Except for this part here, which is Mount Elbrus, I think. Oh, Africa? No, Africa's gone, sadly. Almost all of Tibet is still there. 5k. Okay, now the Andes are almost gone. Tibet is started to get flooded. Every continent is gone, except for a few tiny mountains. Not tiny mountains, huge mountains in Asia. The Himalayas. Check 7k. Oh, you literally can't see it. But if you zoom in closer to the mountains, you probably can. Yeah. Now let's try 8k. Ooh. Is there any other mountains over 8k? Probably not. Well, there's a few, I think. Let's check 8,000. Let's now find Everest. Let's try 8,500. Looks like Everest is here. And this is the peak. Yeah, 8,849. Yeah, the world is all gone. Well, not now. Now the world is completely gone. If... If were to rise, 8,850 meters. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this comparison as to what the world looks like when sea levels rise or fall. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Please make sure to give a thumbs up as well.